me, day five, part two, October 12th, 2016, it's about 10-11 in the morning, and uh, I've been working on the yard for about an hour and a half or so, and the tree's coming along pretty good, the pretty tree is almost finished, probably another two bags, maybe three, but I uh, should have it finished by today, but uh, I'm on my way to Walmart now to get some borax and some socks, figured uh, since there's very little traffic right now, it'd be the best time to go. Thinking about taking the highway or satellite where we used to always drive up and down. Remember when we used to drive down Satellite Boulevard all the way till the very end? And then drive back down because it was a very pleasant drive. Especially on Sundays. There was very little traffic. Nobody was tailgating us. Love those drives that we used to go to. That was about a year ago or so. We used to love going on car drives. Thinking. I decided to skip going to the park today because yesterday I didn't get a whole lot of work done in the yard, so I'm just gonna work on the yard for the rest of the morning. I know this is our usual time that we go to the park, but I think I'm going to skip it today and just finish cutting down the tree. Maybe go for an afternoon short walk, but thinking about going to a different place other than Bunton because there's so many baseball kids there now. Maybe I'll just walk around the neighborhood in the afternoon, but I don't want to run into anybody. I don't want them to ask me about you just yet. Maybe later. As more time passes, I wouldn't feel as bad if somebody asked me about you, but... But right now, I'm a little hesitant about walking around the neighborhood. Even though I'm pretty sure a lot of people know because I don't have you around anymore and I used to have you everywhere next to me. All the time next to me. So I'm pretty sure if they, some of the neighbors realize that you've probably passed. And I've been kind of moping around the front yard for the last five days, so and crying and stuff, and so I figure some of them already know. But the ones that I used to run into all the time, I don't want them to see me and ask me where you are. But uh, I feel not quite as bad as yesterday, Pinky. Yesterday when I picked you up, I felt kind of bad. I didn't feel very good inside, and I didn't feel all that great when I first woke up this morning at about 5.30 in the morning, because I knew that I didn't have a dream about you. But, but like we talked about earlier in the, the morning this morning, Maybe it is for the best that uh, I don't see you quite as bit as much as I used to. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see how that is, Pinky, how that goes. But. I'm hoping that. Uh, and for the rest of the day, I don't feel quite as bad, and I just keep busy. 
so that I don't have to think about it as much. Yeah, that's right. Some of the basement people, family just pulled up and I don't want them to ask me about you either because I know that they know that you passed. So I'm gonna hurry up and try to just get in the car and just pull away so that uh, I don't have to uh, talk to them or anything. But I'm gonna get in the car now so that I can uh, start going to Walmart. So that I could get some couple of items. I think I will drive down Satellite Boulevard, Pinky, because that's sort of a, a slightly shorter, I mean longer route. And that's the way that uh, we used to always go to for our short, pleasant drives. But inside the car, it's right now 62 degrees and it's already 10.15 in the morning, so it's much colder than it was yesterday. Definitely cooler, but luckily it's not quite as windy. There's still a breeze, Pinky, but not as much of a breeze as there was yesterday. But uh, while I was working on the yard, I was listening to the conversation that we recorded yesterday. And some of them I'm going to put up and some of them I'm not. I'm just going to keep it on my phone and on the USB drive so that I can always listen to them. But I'm not going to put them up on the uh, YouTube. I'm only going to put the memorable conversations that we have on YouTube. Because it's taken so, so long to be able to re-record them on video format and then and then upload them on YouTube. But I'll always have them to listen to, all of them, even the ones that I don't put up on YouTube on my other drives. But the FedEx truck just pulled up, Pinky, and I know you'd be barking right now because you, for some reason, you'd always bark at the FedEx and the UPS truck. I don't know how you knew, but you always knew when they pulled up. You could hear them, I guess, with your keen hearing. And for some reason, you always dislike them along with the school bus. But that was uh, one of the characteristics that I liked about you so much. Was you were such a fierce protector of the home. Even though you were so small and you're so frail, that that uh, if there was like an, a serious intruder, you wouldn't be able to do much, anyways. You always protected the home as best you could, better than like a Doberman or a German Shepherd or anything like that. <clears throat> signs up, <laughs> beware of the dogs in front of the house, because you'd make so much noise inside that they'd, you know, hopefully I was thinking they wouldn't know how small and frail you actually were, but you barked like so fiercely that uh, it'd probably scare them away anyways, any intruders.
this for a, for a while. We used to only eat that because I thought it'd be a little bit healthier for you. You used to love the roast beef and after a short while you got sick of the turkey and I couldn't get you to eat the turkey. Even though I wanted you to really eat the turkey because the turkey was much, much less fat. And I wanted to put you on a low fat diet. The doctor, when she drew the blood for the final time, said that your blood was was really high in fat. And I tried my best to get you to eat a low fat diet, but you just wouldn't do it. You just wanted to eat that tasty high fat treat when I stopped giving you sugar. Remember that one time we ended up buying six pounds of turkey pastrami and the lady looked at us like we were crazy and we gobbled that up in, a, in just over a week or so. And we used to eat that all the time. to love that turkey pastrami. Not the regular turkey, but the turkey pastrami he liked. Beautiful day, Pinky. There's not a cloud in the sky. Reminds me of the day that uh, when we first moved to, to this area. It was a day like this. And coming from Florida, where it was so hot and muggy all the time, we thought it was like the greatest weather. That was back in April of 2004, five years before you were born. Actually, about three and a half years before you were born, because you were born in January of 2009. About four and a half years before you were born. So you waited about four and a half years to be born before I moved back here. And then and another year and a half before I got you, so about six years. Six years after I moved here, moved back here, I got you. But these conversations are turning out to be much more normal than than they were when I first uh, realized that you'd passed the first two or three days. And yesterday wasn't that great either. But I'm starting to talk to you like I would normally when I did when you were still here, when I still had you. And we would just talk and drive and talk and drive and go to places and see things delicious foods and I'm still I can't lie though I'm still feeling a little bit numb I'm not uh, anywhere near back to there to my normal self when you were here I was talking to your grandma this morning and I told her that uh, once the senior apartment home opens, that I'm probably going to sell the house. And if your aunt comes down in, in May, we may get a smaller house, like a three-bedroom house or townhouse. Me and your aunt buy it together so that we'll always kind of have somewhere to stay. Because the house is too big for us, Pinky. It's just way too big. Just for me and your grandma now. Now that you're gone. Just for me and your grandma, it's over 3,000 square feet. We don't even use but two rooms. And the utility bills are high and the taxes are high. For some reason.
reason I was never too attached to this house anyways. I know this is the house where you came and lived with, uh, with me all those years and And this is the house where we stayed the last night when I stayed up with you till about two or three in the morning, made sure you got plenty of water so that you wouldn't be too dehydrated before I took you to the doctors the next morning. I'm glad we had that night, Pinky. I almost took the day afternoon off that Thursday when I was working because it was kind of slow at work. And I almost came home. And, I, and if I would have come home, I would have probably taken you to the doctor. But then the doctor would have probably, uh, you know, that would have been the day that you would have passed instead. Instead of the next day. And uh, I'm glad that. I'm glad that I didn't do it that night or that afternoon and you hung on until the night and we went in the morning the next morning because that night I stayed up with you so long and we got to spend a lot of time together. And um, I kept feeding you water and taking you to the bathroom and we stayed up till about 2 or 3 in the morning, then I got up at about 5.30 in the morning and um, made sure that you got more water and we waited up for 2-3 hours before the doctor's office opened up and then we got there as soon as they opened up and we got to spend pretty much the all you know, that whole night together before you went away. And I hope you realize how much I loved you by staying up with you all night and taking care of you. Even though you couldn't hold anything down, I kept giving you water to make sure that you weren't getting too dehydrated. And I kept checking up on you, making sure you were okay. I didn't get a lot of sleep that morning, that night, but I didn't even care. I was just, I was just so worried about uh, you being dehydrated and being sick. Because I thought you had parvo or something. Because we had spent so much uh, time the week before at the parks. I'm not, I wasn't sure if maybe you walked over an infected area or something. <clears throat> but the doctor told me that you didn't have parvo. As bad as parvo would have been. That's what I was hoping for. I think this is going to be kind of a longer entry, Pinky, because it's already 18 minutes into the entry. And we still haven't even gotten to Walmart yet. It'll probably take another 10 minutes to get to Walmart. And, uh, I'm going to have to put in some gas, too. I'm empty on gas. I'm only going to put in a little bit and use the rest of it that's in the garage. Then I have to go to Walmart and get some stuff, so this entry might be a very long one. Or I might just cut it off once at about maybe 40, 45 minutes and then start up another one. So that it doesn't get too long. I guess when it's too long, it just takes so much time to upload on YouTube so much time to put it on video format. Or maybe this is one of the ones, maybe I, maybe this is one of the ones that I don't put up on YouTube and just listen to on audio, on the phone. There's another school bus in front of us, Pinky. I never really was too fond of too many kids either, just like you. That's 
another thing we had in common. Never really wanted to have kids. And you never really liked being around kids. Because you didn't like commotion. You liked it to be nice and quiet and peaceful. And kids were so so noisy and rowdy most of the time because they were so full of sugar. Pumped up with cereals and candy and sodas throughout the day. Luckily I passed the school bus thinking. But when I go to QT today I'll probably just end up putting in gas and not even going inside for a Slurpee because I don't really even feel like having a Slurpee today Pinky. The one that I got last time I only drank like a quarter of it and threw the rest of it away. There's so many big trucks here Pinky. Trucks that are just blocking every lane and going slow and I don't know why they have all these trucks all the time. Such a commercial area you know. Everything's about making money. Now that it's Halloween, they've got these pumpkin patches and they're trying to make money by selling pumpkins. And I'm just growing very tired of this place, Pinky, because it's, everything is about making money all the time. I mean, it's one thing to just have a job and, you know, provide a service or sell a product that, uh, and you make some money to, you know, try to be able to pay your bills and pay, you know, buy the groceries and stuff like that, but, but everything is about, you know, profit for greed around here. Even the cremation uh, company that uh, I used and they recommended, you know, it seems like all they cared about was making money and they didn't really care about anything else. They were supposed to be the one that was the good one, the recommended one. And so I'm getting very tired of this place because it's just kind of a, it's just kind of a cold and heartless kind of place to live. Just an industrial area, business area. They have all these, um, uh, kid uh, drop off places where people go to work and drop off their kids and um, because the parents are so consumed with making money they go to job they go to their job like five six days a week and they don't have time to actually raise their kids and so they drop them off at daycare and the daycares don't really care about anything but making money just a very cold and heartless place, Pinky. And uh, I don't think I was ever really too happy being here, and I kind of sensed that you sensed it too. Because you always knew what I was thinking and feeling. And so that's why we wanted to go to a different place. Like Hawaii or California. But honestly, Pinky, I'm not even sure if uh, Hawaii or California would be much different. Because the second time we went to Hawaii, mm. it wasn't as great as the first time that we went. And um, people in Hawaii kind of seem to be consumed about making money too. Because everything is so expensive over there. I'm pretty sure California is pretty much the same way too. Where everyone is just thinking about their next paycheck so that they can go out and spend it and have a great time. And eat at fancy restaurants and buy fancy clothes and drive fancy cars. And I wouldn't want to be around that. It wouldn't be any different than here. So I'm 
thinking maybe, I don't know. I mean, the Thai, you know, the people in Thailand, they work for, to make money too, but it's, it doesn't seem to be for greed as much. They seem to work because working is what they have to do. To put uh, food on the table and things like that. And they don't try to like sell things real expensively and try to make the biggest profit possible and things like that. Well, I'm pulling into the Walmart parking lot now, Piggy. And I hope it's not too crowded, but I actually see a fair amount of cars. There's so many bad drivers here, none of them stop and wait and let the other person go first. They all want to be first. They all want to be first in line, first to drive out. Very selfish people here, Pinky. You know that. You know that just as much as I do. Well, here's a short bus here, Pinky, that we always talked about getting to to convert to a camper. So that uh, we could go camping in it. In a, in a short bus out west out to the west coast. We thought about doing that too. Remember? But uh, you would have probably enjoyed it for a little while. But just like everything else, you would have probably just got kind of sick of it. I didn't try to make this trip pretty fast inside Walmart. I just need to pick up a pair of socks and some bull racks. I'm going to head out. I'm not going to get any deli or anything like that. But when I check out, I'll probably just cut it off and then make another one on the way home. Another audio recording. And so... I'll talk to you for a few more minutes while I'm picking up the socks and the borax. The cars here, they don't even wait for pedestrians. They want to be first all the time, you know. Luckily, there's not too many people inside. got the cart now, you can probably hear it jangling around in the background. Probably gonna get some socks first, go to the sock section. Pick up some white socks because I think I threw all my white socks away when we were planning on moving to Hawaii back in June. So I've been wearing the same socks for a while now. I've been wearing the uh, tennis shoes that I got at Walmart here to work on the yard. Because the clogs was getting the uh, thorns inside and I was getting pricked. I still have those Walmart shoes. And I still wear it to use the yard, work on the yard. of socks do I need? Let's see, they got a 10 pack. 10 pack of socks. Short socks. I probably just want the regular size socks. Not the super long one, but not the short one either. So here's a six, six pair. I'll probably just get six pairs of socks. I don't want to have too many socks anyways. 
Should I get six pairs or should I get ten pairs? Let me see. How many socks do you think I should get, Pinky? Twelve pairs? It's a little too much. Uh, let's see. They got twelve pairs, ten pairs. I think I'll just get the six pairs for now. Alright, now we're about to head over to the borax section and again try to pick up some borax so we can spray it for the tenants. Because they're complaining about bugs getting in all the time. Actually, I think I'm going the wrong way. The food section is on this side. But I remember taking you here all the time in my little carrier. And I used to wheel you around and look for the beef jerky and the deli meats. And you used to just sit there and you used to love coming here too. You used to love going shopping with me too. You used to just like being around everywhere I went. And I would take you everywhere and it'd be so much fun. And we were planning on going to California where they were more dog friendly so that I could take you out even more. But maybe that's one of the reasons why you passed away too, Pinky. So early, so that I wouldn't move out to California either. After our trip to to, uh, reach. after our trip to Hawaii to pull through, and we tried going there twice, after that didn't go through, I was on, I was thinking about going to, uh, I was planning on maybe even going to California after that, and, uh, Maybe you didn't want me to waste my time going through that ordeal. I hope they have the borax here. It would be under laundry detergent. Excuse me. Do you know where the borax is? What not? Borax. It's usually by the laundry detergent. Do you know where borax is? Yeah. Okay. Usually by the laundry detergent area. The laundry detergent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I have it. It's, it's usually like in a little, little like a small box. Uh -huh. Or it could be in one of those things, I don't know. Is this your only laundry area? Yep, it is. These two hours. For washing, not for uh, dishes, right? For washing. Right, right. Clothes. Yeah. But I think the borax is a, it's a powder. It's not really it's a powder. It's a powder. Mm -hmm. All right. I know I have something in the back. You definitely want one? Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, Pinky, so maybe I should just, uh, well, he's going to go look for some borax in the back. Oh, actually, this is Purex. It's not the same thing. Please watch this. This show? I think it's in the next. Oh, yeah, look at the dog section a little bit where we used to go all the time, too, Pinky. Remember, I couldn't give you chicken jerky anymore because that's all you would eat. And it would make your... It would make you have diarrhea because of all that glycerin. And you wouldn't need anything else. You wouldn't need your regular food or anything. But when I quit giving you the chicken jerky, you started eating like even more junk food. So maybe I should have just kept giving you chicken jerky and you would have lived a little bit longer. But then the jerky wasn't very good for you either. You didn't feel good when you ate all that chicken jerky. Maybe that's what uh, helped give you diabetes too. I don't know, Pinky. I don't know what I could have done different. I don't know what I could have done different to make you stay a little bit longer. I think it was just your time. And maybe in a year or two, I'll start to get a better picture of why you had to leave so early. But in the background, can you hear it, Pinky? They're playing U2, where the streets have no name. That's where you're at, Pinky, in the heavens, where the streets have no names. But I miss you, Pinky. Really do. Just being at Walmart reminds me of you. You got a pitch up? Uh, no, it's just uh, Borax. B O R E X. You ever bought that here before? I haven't bought it here. I bought it at the Walmart down in Pleasant oh, Hill. Okay, yeah, because I thought I saw it, but I don't see it in the back. Okay. I know I have some called Bona. But what's it called? Bona. Is that pretty much the same thing, or? No, nah, it's different. I'm guessing it's different. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I probably got that mixed up. Cause it's Borax. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think I have. Okay, thank you. Let me uh, talk to you in a little bit.